Are you ready to experience the future of sustainable transportation with Elon Musk's revolutionary hydrogen car, where innovation meets eco-consciousness? The visionary entrepreneur and CEO of Tesla has just unveiled his all-new hydrogen car that has completely shocked the entire car industry. Yes, you heard that right. Hydrogen is the new buzzword in the world of sustainable transportation, and Musk has decided to surprise everyone by pivoting away from his popular electric vehicles. But what's so special about hydrogen and why is everyone so shocked? Get ready for a mind-blowing journey into the world of sustainable transportation as we dive deep into the cutting-edge technology behind Elon Musk's hydrogen car. This is a video you won't want to miss, so make sure to stay tuned until the end to witness the groundbreaking features and innovations that are sure to change the future of transportation as we know it. Trust us, you won't regret it. Elon Musk is known for his bold statements and unyielding attitude, but even he can admit when he's wrong. Once a critic of hydrogen-powered vehicles, Musk has recently taken to Twitter to announce his plans to switch Tesla's focus from batteries to hydrogen. And as we all know, when Elon Musk makes a move, the world takes notice. While Musk has referred to hydrogen cells as full cells instead of fuel cells, and even called the idea of hydrogen-powered cells mind-bogglingly stupid, he's now a firm believer in their potential. With the promise of longer ranges, faster refueling, and even drinking water on tap as you drive, hydrogen-powered vehicles could revolutionize the automobile industry. And Musk isn't the only one recognizing the potential of hydrogen. Experts predict that by 2030, hydrogen-powered vehicles will be the most driven vehicles on the roads. Toyota has already made inroads in the US with their hydrogen-powered vehicles, and other companies are sure to follow suit. But why is Musk, who has already dominated the electric vehicle market with Tesla, switching gears? The answer lies in the fact that hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. With a high affinity to combine with neighboring elements to form a compound, hydrogen can be found more easily than you might think. And while it's not a solo element, scientists have discovered that a hydrogen atom can contain a lot of energy that can be converted to electricity. So while Musk may have once been a critic of hydrogen-powered vehicles, he's now leading the charge in their development. And as we all know, when Musk sets his sights on something, the world better watch out. Most electric vehicle customers will see hydrogen-powered cars as an option, as it will still promote green energy. This move to hydrogen fuel vehicles will be an advantage to Tesla by 2024 as they plan to transition to the new game changer in the automotive industry. They might even consider renaming the company to Tesla, seeing how much of a success this venture might turn out to be. Now, let's delve into the process of dealing with the anodes and cathodes of a fuel cell. A fuel cell powered car has a battery resembling that of a typical electric vehicle. However, instead of obtaining power from a battery, there's a fuel stack pumped with pure hydrogen. The hydrogen is pumped with oxygen, which gives out electricity and water vapor comes out as the emission. Hydrogen-fueled cars don't need any form of recharging to produce electricity, which is good news for most people. Instead, they produce electricity as long as hydrogen is supplied, which takes a very short time to do. Hydrogen is fed to the anode, or the positive side of the cell, while on the other hand, the air is fed to the cathode. The anode here is the main player as the catalyst is fed, which separates hydrogen molecules into protons and electrons, which are directed to the cathode. As the electrons go through an external circuit, an electric flow results. On the other hand, protons move through the electrode to the cathode, where they combine with oxygen and excess electrons to produce water vapor and heat. The cost of manufacturing hydrogen has been the main issue up to very recently. Naturally, when the cost of manufacturing is very high, the cost of hydrogen fuel cars automatically soars, which is not what Tesla would love for their customers. However, scientists are currently working on the cheapest way of producing hydrogen, so we can expect lower prices for fuel-powered vehicles. 
If you're enjoying this video so far, show us some love by smashing that like button and subscribing to our channel. We promise to keep bringing you exciting content like this. The development of fuel-powered vehicles is quite far from being established, as there are fewer hydrogen gas stations around the US and the current stations are only situated within California, thanks to Toyota, which has made some considerable strides. However, Tesla might get in with wild energy to ensure that there are hydrogen gas stations all around America. We can expect a major change in the automobile industry by 2024, as Tesla has all the money and plans to make that a reality. The current hydrogen-powered cars are good, but still leave a lot to be desired. For instance, the power output, which is about 120 horsepower, is lower than what many would prefer. Hydrogen gas best works as a steady power output, a quality that suits it best for backup power use. Driving a car at a steady speed is not a problem, but the technology is not yet developed enough for heavy use. Now, you might be wondering, okay, that sounds great and all, but are these cars actually practical? Well, let's break it down by discussing its advantages and disadvantages. First up, we have the big advantage of hydrogen cars, zero emissions. That's right, you heard me, zero emissions. Unlike their gas-guzzling counterparts, hydrogen cars run on, well, hydrogen, which only emits water vapor. No harmful pollutants, no greenhouse gases, nada. It's like driving around in a cloud. Plus, as hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, we'll never run out of it, hopefully. Another advantage is that hydrogen cars have a longer driving range than battery electric vehicles. With a full tank, you can drive for hundreds of miles before needing to refuel. Plus, refueling is quick and easy, similar to pumping gas. No need to wait hours for a battery to charge up. Now, onto the not-so-fun part, the disadvantages. One of the biggest obstacles facing hydrogen cars is the lack of infrastructure. Currently, there are only a handful of hydrogen refueling stations across the globe, which makes it difficult to take long road trips. However, there are plans in the works to build more stations, so fingers crossed. Another disadvantage is the cost. Hydrogen cars are more expensive to produce than traditional gas-powered cars, and the fuel itself can be pricey. However, as with any new technology, the costs are likely to come down as it becomes more widely adopted. So are hydrogen cars practical? The answer is, it depends. If you're looking for a vehicle that emits zero emissions, has a long driving range, and quick refueling time, then a hydrogen car might just be the way to go. However, if you need to take long road trips or on a tight budget, it may not be the best fit. In conclusion, Elon Musk's involvement in the hydrogen industry has caused a stir among experts and enthusiasts alike. While hydrogen has long been considered a promising alternative fuel source, it has yet to achieve widespread adoption due to a variety of technical and economic challenges. Musk's reputation as a disruptor and visionary in the world of electric vehicles and renewable energy has many wondering what impact he may have on the future of hydrogen technology. On the other hand, Musk's involvement in the industry could bring increased attention and investment to the development of hydrogen fuel cell technology. His track record of successfully bringing innovative technologies to market has given him a reputation for being able to turn ambitious ideas into reality. If Musk were to throw his weight behind the development of hydrogen fuel cells, it could help to accelerate the pace of research and development and potentially lead to breakthroughs in cost and performance that would make hydrogen a more viable option for transportation and energy storage. On the other hand, Musk's involvement could also be seen as a potential threat to the existing hydrogen industry, which has already faced significant hurdles in gaining acceptance and investment. Musk's focus on electric vehicles and batteries has helped to establish a dominant market position for those technologies, and his involvement in the hydrogen sector could divert attention and resources away from alternative fuel sources that are already struggling to gain traction. Ultimately, 
the future of hydrogen as a viable alternative fuel source is still uncertain. While there's no doubt that it has significant potential to help decarbonize transportation and energy production, it remains a technology that is still in its early stages of development. Elon Musk's involvement in the industry could prove to be a catalyst for further innovation and investment, or it could simply be a flash in the pan that ultimately has little impact on the industry's trajectory. What is clear, however, is that the conversation around the future of energy and transportation is rapidly evolving, and the role of hydrogen in that future is far from settled. As with any emerging technology, there are likely to be both successes and failures along the way, and it'll take time and significant investment to determine which alternative fuel sources will ultimately prevail. In the meantime, it's up to policymakers, investors, and industry leaders to continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, and to remain open to the potential of new technologies and ideas, even those that challenge conventional wisdom. Only by taking bold steps and embracing innovation can we hope to build a sustainable and resilient energy system that will meet the needs of future generations. So, what do you think will be the biggest challenge in transitioning to a hydrogen economy, and how can it be overcome? Share with us in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting the like button and leaving a comment down below. And if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out the other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.